Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. In today's big news video, we will be discussing about the ongoing cricket diplomacy that the government of India is using to come closer and negotiate multiple agreements with Australia. We will be discussing what exactly is the history of cricket diplomacy in India. Has this been a successful foreign policy tool by the government of India? And also, is it something that the government of India can use going forward as well? But before we go deeper into this particular topic, I hope by now all of you have already subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you have not done so till now, please make sure you do hit the subscribe button and also make sure you share such videos with your friends as well. Now, as you know, today is the beginning of the fourth and final test match between India and Australia in the ongoing test series. The fourth test has begun today in Ahmedabad. On the first day in attendance, you saw two very important personalities that is Indian Prime Minister and the Australian Prime Minister. These two people were there at the beginning of the test match which signaled the growing proximity between India and Australia. Now, why is it that Australia has become so significant for India in the past few years? In the international circuit, Australia by many people is also regarded as an upcoming US. Many people see a lot of similarities in US and Australia. The culture, the focus on technology, a lot of good education institutions, also familiarity with India, English speaking population. Many people believe that Australia can help India in finding a lot of great jobs and also educational opportunities. Australia in the past few years has also not been on good terms with China and they are also trying to now find new friends. That is why you now see Australia's involvement in a lot of other international groupings as well, be it the Cod, where Australia is an active member or be it the AUKUS. All these groups have been formed keeping in mind China's expansionist policies. In that regard, Australia and India that have recently signed a free trade agreement have now been negotiating the finer points of the free trade agreement. That is why the Australian Prime Minister is in India along with the business delegation. The two sides believe that we can actually cross $70 billion in bilateral trade in the next five years because of the free trade agreement that has been signed. And that is why India sees an extremely, extremely important opportunity in Australia. Understand this, Australia is not just a hub for a lot of jobs and educational opportunities. It is also a place where there are a lot of important mineral deposits and India wants to take advantage of that. And that is why the two sides are bringing each other as close as possible. As you can see here, the two prime ministers on their individual social media accounts have shared their photo. Here is the Australian prime minister who is on his first official visit as a Prime Minister of Australia to India. He is accompanied by a delegation of ministers and also multiple business leaders. He will be here on a four-day trip. Now, cricket diplomacy in the past has been utilized by multiple nations and not just India. If you're a cricket fan, for example, you would remember something called the Body Line Series. Body Line Series was a series between Australia and England where the fast bowlers used a lot of bouncers and threatening bowling in an attempt to injure the other side's batsmen. That in fact deteriorated the relationship between the two sides and it was cricket diplomacy that brought them closer once again. India also has used cricket diplomacy specifically with respect to Pakistan to improve our relationship and Pakistan has also done the same. As you know, for diplomatic purposes, different countries use various tools of their foreign policy. Some of them might give the other country certain aid. Some of them might offer scholarships, etc. to the students. Some of them might even threaten the other country. And then cricket that can also be used as a way to bring the two countries closer. Cricket right now is a sport that is played widely all across the world. And it is considered as the second most widely played game in the world after football. Now, let me share with you certain examples of how cricket diplomacy has been seen between India and Pakistan. It goes back to 1980s. After the 1965 war, India-Pakistan relationship was not that great. We also saw how Soviet Union had been trying to come in between India and Pakistan and that even led to the Tashkent Agreement that unfortunately also resulted in the death of our Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri. All through the 1980s, Soviet Union had been trying to bring India and Pakistan closer to each other. It was in 1987 
that Pakistan's President General Zia ul Haq decided to attend a test match in India in Jaipur. This led to an unplanned meeting with Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, and it is said that the relationship between India and Pakistan improved considerably after that unplanned meeting. This was not the only incident. In 2004, the Indian cricket team visited Pakistan after a gap of 15 years. As you know, around the world, Pakistan and India are the two nations where cricket is most passionately followed. Especially when these two sides play each other, the ad revenue that is generated, people's interest, people in the audience, that is usually at an all-time high. So it makes sense that the two countries should play each other, not just for diplomacy, but for financial purposes as well. In 2004, when the Indian cricket team went to Pakistan, it led to the two sides relaxing visa regulations for each other so that a lot more fans can travel to each other nations to attend these cricket matches. In 2005, there was a return series where Pakistan cricket team came to India, through which General Parvez Musharraf also came to India to visit a cricket match. This also led to a kind of a summit between the two sides, and the two sides urged to seize a historic chance to end their dispute over Kashmir. Now, it is correct to say that none of these summits have been so successful that the issues between the two sides have been resolved. However, the one thing that is sure is that at least for some time, these kind of diplomacy or summits have led to the relationship between the two sides improving, if not for a long time, but at least for some time. 2008 Mumbai terror attacks was again a dark spot in the relationship between the two sides where the diplomatic relationship broke down completely. It was in 2011 that Indian Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh thought of reaching out to Pakistan's Prime Minister that is Yusuf Raza Gilani. In 2011 where the two sides fought the semi-final match, the Prime Minister of Pakistan was invited to India and watched the match in Mohali. The Prime Minister of Pakistan accepted the invitation that led to the first diplomatic breakthrough between the two sides after the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks. These are just some of the instances how cricket diplomacy has played a major role between the two sides. In the past, we have only used it in terms of how to improve our relationship with Pakistan. But now it is refreshing to see that the government of India is utilizing the same with other countries with Australia being at the center of India's attention. This is it for today's big news video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead. Jai Hind.